Hi, and welcome to the Tinker's Workshop and part six of the Sosilva CNC machine enclosure build. In uh, this video today that I'm putting together, I'm going to show you what we've gotten done so far. We've been, I've been working on, as you know, the enclosure, uh, building the doors and the stand and the enclosure and all the parts for it. So this is what we've gotten done that uh, we've been, I've been working on. These are the, uh, these are the doors with the, the panels now on them. This is one of the front doors. And uh, this is nothing more than quarter inch plywood and then I uh, glued it down and uh, nailed it down with uh, wire, one inch wire brads. And also in the back of these, which I didn't show you in an earlier video, there's a groove that is cut into these parts so that the window will slide in nicely and then there'll be a corner corner pieces that get mounted in each of these for the front doors. So this way it gives you a nice big window to uh, look into the CNC machine. Here's the uh, panels for the side doors and the back doors. Again, they're just quarter inch plywood and these are glued in. The reason why I wanted to go with a framework like this, this makes a nice uh, set up for the uh, foam that I'm going to put in, a sound deadening foam. It's like one inch thick. And this will, will, we will put in, in, in uh, not in this video, but later video. And it'll just be uh, glued in here and, and inserted in, and this will cut down on some of the sound. So anyway, this is where we got so far with the doors. And today we're going to set these doors up with the enclosure itself. Uh, and I'm going to roll the camera around here so that you can see uh, the enclosure put together. And uh, so let's go to that right now. All right, so uh, here's the enclosure. Now that I got the camera moved around, here's the enclosure for the uh, for our CNC machine, and you can see it's quite large. Uh, the ceiling height in here is about 77 inches, and this thing is going to be like 75, so it just barely gives me enough room to to get it built. And uh, so I'm I'm fortunate I can get it into the shop. The enclosure here again was made up of uh, four frames that we did in part five. And uh, there we clamped, I clamped these together. I clamped them down here all the way around, clamped them in, and then on the inside, and I'll zoom into a shot here uh, fairly quickly, uh, of the brackets I put inside here are just little L brackets that are screwed in. There's three on each post. And so that gives me a nice sturdy uh, setup that it is. Uh, to, to make it all work. Again, let me uh, let me change the camera again here and we'll get a close-up shot of this. Okay, here we got a closer shot of the, uh, this is the uh, platform for the enclosure. And you can see the, uh, one of the openings here for the wires that need to run down through. And there's another one over here in the back. There's one on each side and then one in the back. And these are the openings for the uh, uh, wiring and power for the CNC machine, you're going to have to run power for the uh, stepper motors and for the router, that kind of thing, that will go down into the PC. But anyway, I wanted to get this shot here. This rail here was what that uh, part of the upper and lower portion of the uh, platform that I was building earlier in another part. I wonder if I can lift this. There we go. You can see the framework wraps around this rail and sets down and so it's not going to it's going to be positioned correctly. So let me zoom in here and I can show you one of these brackets. I'm going to go zoom in way in. There we go, there we go. Now this is one of the little brackets that are are mounted in the posts and uh, these are just a little L bracket. There's three on each post and so that keeps these uh, positioned correctly. Again, these frameworks, there's a framework on each side, and then on this one here is a little bit larger. It's a, it's a piece that's just about a two by four width. Uh, it's about three inches wide, actually. And so it makes a nice corner so it matches all the way around. So anyway, this gives you a good idea how this enclosure is put together. And uh, what I'm gonna do here, let me go a little wide angle again, so you can see me. What I'm going to do here is pull this enclosure apart here in this video, and we're going to, we're going to mount the doors. So I, I got this all set up so that it unscrews, 
and then I'll mount the doors and then put the framework back up with the doors on it. Hopefully I can get it mounted that way. If not, we'll mount the framework like this and then mount the doors again. But it's much easier to set it up on the workbench, uh, one single frame at a time. We'll set up two doors in each frame, of course. And once I do one, and then you'll see how it all goes together. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So now that I got my camera readjusted again here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, what I'm going to do, what I did here is I marked, I, I put tape on each side here and marked what was the front and the right and left and the back. So when I reassemble it, there's no uh, guesswork because there's the front and the back are exactly the same and the sides are exactly the same. But the holes that were set up for all these little brackets uh, may be off a little bit if I flip parts around or, or have them backwards or reversed or something. So anyway, I, I put tape on each of these and marked it all. So what I've got to do here next is just clamp everything up again and then unscrew it all so I can take it down and take it apart and then we can put it on the workbench to put the table. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to take a, take a big clamp here. Clamp these all up again. So if I take a screw out, I'm not going to be dropping parts off and having it simply because I'm here by myself. If I had an extra pair of hands, it would be simpler. So anyway, we'll clamp it all up, unscrew all the parts, uh, take the panels out, the, the frames out by themselves, and then we'll get it to the workbench and then we'll start installing the doors. Now that I've got the enclosure taken apart again and on the work table, I've inserted the doors. This is one of the front doors. I've got both doors in the framework for the front frame. And I've sanded all these parts down with a, an orbital sander. And we'll slide this guy back in place again. There we go. And what I'm going to do is clamp the door to the outer edge because I want a gap in the middle so that the door swings they don't interfere with one another. And then we're going to shim up the bottom so the doors are slid more to the top because over time the doors will, will uh, it may sag. Uh, so we'll have a clearance that it'll, it'll swing freely. So anyway, we're going we're to clamp these up first off. I've got some good sized clamps. And we'll get it all matched up here and we'll clamp it. Put one here. There we go. And we'll put one up on the upper upper side here. Oh, before I do that, I think I'm gonna do. Yeah. We'll be all right. Yeah, we've got enough space in the bottom here. We're gonna shim that out just the same. Okay, got my clamps where I want them. I'm going to shove a shim in here just to shove the door, make sure the door stays more toward the top. And we'll do the same with the other side. Um, let me reset my camera here just a second and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the hinges. With the camera readjusted here, I wanted to be able to show you what I'm going to do with the hinges in order to mount them. On the doors, as you know, there's a lower panel and on all the other doors there's a full panel. And with the hinge mounted to that door with the panel, it makes it higher and doesn't match up to the outer perimeter. So what I had to do was put a, a little spacer, it's the same thickness, same panel, underneath the, underneath the hinge and so that we can get these sides to match up. Let me zoom in on this upper one, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, find my button, zoom. I'm going to zoom way into this upper hinge. There. Now you can see it. This one here, the front door, doesn't have uh, a panel on the upper portion because of the windows. And so like if this was the lower panel, let me swap these pieces out here, your hinge would look like this and, and, and it wouldn't match up. So what I'm going to do is put two little spacers underneath here and a hinge like that to the inside there. Like so. Then the door will hinge, will hinge correctly and the door will swing, uh, swing right. And I'm going to do that with all the doors. They'll have little spacers underneath the hinges on the outer perimeter. Uh, these, one, these doors, the front doors here, needed 
needed a double in here, a double, double uh, spacer in here, uh, simply because the, the window. On the outer doors, the sides and the back, that'll be all paneled all the way across, and then they'll just use a single spacer here to match it up. So this is how we're going to mount it. So what I'm going to do is take the, take the hinge out of here for a second. I'm going to mount these guys. I'm going to glue and, and nail them in place. And then I'll be able to bring the hinge in. And I'll drop right between that space there, that little gap there. I'll make sure these are spaced out right. And then the, the hinge will be glued in place. And uh, then, then it'll be all mounted. So it should be a quick, easy thing to do. And the doors, as long as I get the doors spaced correctly uh, for the... Uh, for the framework, then I can then I can get the doors to swing freely, and uh, so this is what we're going to do. I'll uh, I'll uh, glue these little tabs in here first, and uh, nail them down, and then I'm going to go ahead and mount the mount the hinges. Once I get that far uh, with this first set, I'll show you what it looks like once it's completed. the hinges uh, mounted here we're going to go ahead and take the clamps off this door and frame and we should be able to swing this door keep my keep my fingers crossed here gonna move some tools there we go. and there we go there's the door and it'll swing out that far and stay there actually that's going to be a good thing so there we go Whoop. Get my fingers out of there. And then we'll do the other side. I'll mount the other side. And once I get the other side mounted with the hinges, I'll uh, show you the uh, locking mechanism that we're going to keep the doors locked. And then there's a piece of trim that I've got to put on the inside of the door. We'll, we'll cover that too. So we'll, uh, we'll do that next. Now I've got uh, all the hinges mounted onto the front doors. And so both doors swing open really nice. That's one and this one. And so you can go in and put them in and there's enough gap in between them that you're not going to interfere with uh, one or the other. So the next thing I'm going to do is mount what's called a barrel bolt. Let me see if I can zoom in on this guy. There we go. This is called a barrel bolt and you've seen them before. They got a little slider. Looks like something that's on a, on a rifle. And it's a slider that comes in and that's what's going to lock the, the front doors or actually it's going to lock all the doors i'm going to have it set up on all the doors like this so this is what's going to be mounted next um, let me go back out in wide angle again there we go so anyway this is going to get mounted uh dead center in the doors and there's enough gap in here that i'm going to have to put a strip in which i wanted to in the first place so this will get uh screw it in place and then the doors will be locked so they can't um, can't open up on you when when I'm running the the CNC machine so that'll be the next step so we'll, we'll I'll take care of that here now that'll do it. the last thing that needs to be done on the door assembly here uh, is to mount this little wooden strip it's an inch and a half wide uh, half inch plywood and it's as long as the doors are tall uh, what the strip does is in between the doors there's a gap and it has to be there so that the doors will swing freely and they won't bind when they're closed up. But I don't want that gap when I'm running it the uh, CNC machine. It's just going to throw more debris. So this little strip will close up that gap. What I'm going to do on this door is mount the strip like right here just like this and this sticks up Oh, about a half inch. It'll fill that gap. And I'll uh, screw this down and glue it in place. And that's the last piece that needs to be put on the, this door assembly. So the, this is the way the doors are made. Uh, all the other doors are exactly the same other than uh, uh, they have no windows, as you've seen before. Uh, they're just all paneled. And so the assembly is exactly how these are going. So I've got uh, three more sets of doors to complete. So stay tuned for part seven 
And in that version uh, of the, uh, the build, or that, that step of the build, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the top of the enclosure. And that's going to be kind of interesting too, because that'll have a window that's up on top and uh, some frameworks and some blocks, but it's not a very difficult piece to do. Uh, so please stop by. I'm hoping you're, you're following along and uh, have a good day and keep on tinkering.